Hello, yo family, my name is Ish, and today we're going to be moving through a slow flow for the next 45 minutes with Anne and Stu. Take your time. If there are any concerns with any injuries, please do relax. If you're feeling any pinching of the nerves, come out of the postures immediately. If you're feeling any burning sensations, let's see if we can get through with the sequence ever so slightly. We're going to be beginning shortly, so find your space, find your mat, look at the water and the towel that you find. We'll begin in a moment. To begin today's class, we will start in child's pose. So bring your knees, knees as wide as the mat. Extend the body in between the knees as we relax the forehead down towards the ground. Slowly begin to take the tension out of your face and neck. Release all the tightness within the shoulders and the hands. As we sink the hips down towards the heels and just finding a little bit of stillness and quiet on this most beautiful of days. Utilizing this opportunity to really connect with your breath. As we keep the mouth closed and gently allow the air to flow evenly and smoothly in and out through the nose. Noticing that beautiful expansion into the belly and chest as we inhale. And with a light constriction of the abdomen, slowly allowing the oxygen to flow out. Slowly beginning to feel your rhythm and flow. It is the breath that gives life to our practice. It is the breath that gives purpose and focus to our movements. If at any time during today's class you are unable to achieve this most beautiful of breath, take as many breaks as you would like. And then just rejoin us in the sequence when you are ready. Stay here for another three full rounds of breath as we really bring our attention and focus to the here and now. Letting go of what has happened today and by concerning ourselves with what is going to happen. Just staying in the present. Gently on your next inhalation. Come onto tabletop toes, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips at hip width distance apart, and let's gently find any movement that feels good for us today. If you want to just rock from side to side, or maybe let your head hang or lift up your chin, just anything that can allow us to identify where we are holding onto any tightness or any stiffness. Maybe we have to dig a little bit deeper to identify any anxiety or stress. Gently now, let's find our tabletop neutral. That is a neutral spine as we suck the belly in, slightly pushing the mat away. Opening up the fingers nice and wide as we focus into our handstand hands. Gently now, through a couple of rounds of cat and cow, on your next inhalation, drop the belly, lift your gaze, cow pose. Hold it there as we really feel into the lower back, keep squeezing your shoulder blades and scapula together, draw your heart center forward. Take one inhalation here. And as you exhale, tuck the chin round into your spine. Cat pose and begin to hold it here. I'm going to feel this real stringer-like motion as I take my upper back towards the ceiling. Shoulders are moving away from each other. Gently now, as we inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly, lift your gaze. Let's add our breath now. Exhale, tuck the chin round into the spine. Let's go two more. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, round into your spine, cat. Last one. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round into the spine, cat. Very nice. Let's come to a neutral spine. And let's engage into the core ever so slightly. So I'm going to extend my right leg back. I'm going to rotate that hip down ever so slightly so my toes may pep point towards the floor and I'm going to kick through my heel. I'm going to take a simple inhalation here for length. And as we exhale, bring the knee to the nose, round the spine, tuck the chin, push the mat away. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, knees through the nose, around. Really feel that upper back lift. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knees through the nose. There it is. Inhale, extend. And we're going to stay there for the exhalation. From here, bend your right knee and begin to kick the heel now towards the ceiling. Really engage into that thigh and glute. And just notice here how your belly is going to drop ever so slightly. Keep sucking the belly in and find the strength out through your hands. Take a breath here. And then gently plant that knee down. We move through one round of cat and cow here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift the gate. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine, turn towards the chest. Neutral spine. We do that on the other side. Now let's extend the left leg back. Rotate the left hip down. I'm kicking through my heel. Belly button is engaged. When you are ready, take an inhalation for length. Exhale, knee to the nose, round the spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, extend. And we're going to hold the tear gas. Stay for the exhalation. As we inhale now, begin to bend your knee and kick the heel now towards the ceiling as we really engage into that thigh and the glutes on the left. Soft into your breath, engage into your core here, keep sucking the belly in. Take one last inhalation. And as we exhale, bring that knee all the way back down. We move through one last round of cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round into your spine, chin towards the chest neutral spine. And when you're ready guys, let's play around a bit with our, just before we get into our first dog today. I want you to walk your hands just one step forward. Tuck your back toes and bring your knees to a hover. So I'm just slightly off of the ground and the reason why we're taking our hands slightly forward is we really want to engage into the core. You make it a little bit more tough for ourselves as we warm up the body, as we keep activating into the pectoral areas. Gently now, one deep inhalation. And as we exhale, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. And this is our first dog for today, so let's find any movement once again that feels good for us. As we gently pedal out the feet, or a couple of yeses and noes with the head. So beginning just once again to notice how we are feeling today. Once you are ready for some stillness, once again, guys, let's start from the hands. Open up the fingers nice and wide and begin to pour all of your weight into that inner line of the thumb and index, your first knuckle. Once I find that stability, I'm going to place weight into my heels and gently begin to focus on sending my hips up and back into space as I relax the chest down. On your next inhalation, come forward, high plank. From this high plank, lower your knees down first, tuck your elbows and let's come all the way down onto the bed. On your next inhalation, just a baby cobra as we activate the tops of the feet, the head and chest lifts so and let's hold it there. Take an inhalation and as we exhale, slow it down. We got two more. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very nice. As we inhale, come up to your tabletop pose. Hips go up and back. Downward facing down as you exhale. Very nice, my friends. One more time. Inhale, fold, high plank. As we exhale, lower the knees down first. Tuck your elbows, come all the way down. This time, as we inhale, the head and chest lifts for your cobra. Maintain the bend in the elbow, active with the tops of the feet. Exhale, hips go up and back, downward facing down. This is our vinyasa for today, my friends. We will be repeating it throughout the class. If you are an experienced practitioner, please do up-level your practice. But if you are a little bit of a beginner, you may down-level it even further, or you may practice the vinyasa that I will be curing throughout the class. This is your time, my friends. I am but a tour guide for your practice. When you are ready. Let's bend the knees and gaze forward so my knees are just hovering and I'm having a look at where I'm going. I'm going to take an inhalation here. And as we exhale, take a slow walk now towards the top of the mat. 
Stay folded once you arrive. Ragdoll forward fold is where we are. So the feet may be together or hip width distance apart, whatever you feel comfortable with. Grab opposite elbows as we relax the crown of the head down. You may find some movement here as you sway from side to side. Or you may just hang out, allowing this beautiful opening into the back of the neck and the top of your spine. If your feet are apart, let's gently heel toe them back together. Hands come towards the ground and I want you to bend your knees graciously as you curl yourself into a little bit of a ball. Tuck your chin, feel that activation into the superficial back line. And as you inhale, tuck the chin, slowly come up to standing high mountain pose without the hands to rise. Leave your palms to touch as we just interlace the thumbs. Take an inhalation here, finally. And as we exhale, lower down towards the right hand side. Really focus on planting a little bit of weight now into that left sitting bone as you open up into that intercostal space between your shoulder and hip. Inhale, come to right. Exhale now down towards the left. Really breathe now into that lateral line on the right hand side. Steady with your breath, steady with your gaze. Inhale, come back to center, release your palms. And as you exhale, bend your knees, cactus your arms, lift up your knees. Inhale, the arms rise. And as we exhale, samastiti, he hands towards the heart center, close the eyes. And just give ourselves an opportunity now once again to scan the body. Utilizing the breath to venture around all the nooks and crannies. As we breathe softness and energy, to where it is needed. No matter where you are, my friends, you find your softness and your stillness. Gently now, let's all blink the eyes open, adjust your eyes to the light once again, and as we inhale, come up high mountain pose. And as you exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale is halfway lift now, hands on shins, straight back, straight legs. And as you exhale, step your right leg back now, find your lunge. Have a look at your lunge, guys. Have a look at your left leg. My thigh is parallel to the ground. My knee is not moving past the ankle. I'm engaging into my back thigh. Gently now, left hand rises, easy twist. I want to focus here on not internally rotating my right shoulder. I want to find that subtle external rotation, just opening up my chest, engaging into my back thigh as I open up into my twist. Gently now drop that hand down, drop the back knee down now, Ajay Nyasana as the arms rise. Keep sinking your hips down towards the floor as I pull that left hip back, release the right hip forward. I'm just trying to square off my hips here. I'm lifting up from my floating ribs. Take a breath here, find that. And as we exhale, bring your hands down towards the ground, half Hanuman, half splits. I'm now straightening out my left leg, drawing my left toes towards my face, and I begin to pull that left hip into its socket. Now, some of us might be want to sit onto our heels. My focus for you today is maybe bring the body weight forward ever so slightly, really engaging into that left thigh. Inhale, come forward, now find your lunge, lift up the back knee, stay for the exhalation. And when you are ready, step back to our first high plank. Now for those of you who know me well, this is my favorite posture, so let's hang out your four bones. Really push the mats away, engage into the core as we lift up from the upper back. Find equal weight between hands and feet. Really one of the foundational postures of our strength. Take one last breath here. And as we exhale, drop the knees down first, tuck your elbows, come all the way down. As we inhale, the head and chest lifts now from my cobra pose. Exhale, hips go up and back to downward facing down. Very nice, my friends. Identify your right leg as we lift it up for three-legged down. Bring your knee to the nose, round the spine, body weight forward. Take it back, three-legged and gently step that foot in between your hands as you find your low lunge. And just have a look at it once again. Knee not moving past the ankle, thigh parallel to the ground. Drop the back knee down. Oh, excuse me, that's a mistake. 
right hand rises easy to us. You see, perfection, my friends, always comes with a kiss. <laughs> Gently now stay nice and active. Steady with your grip, steady with your gaze, engage into your back. Gently now, let's drop that hand down, and then drop the back knee down as the hands rise. Ah, Jenny, I smell the crescent moon. Sink your hips down towards the floor, and we're going to square off the hips now once again. So I'm going to pull that right hip back, release the left hip forward. Squeeze those inner thighs if you're searching for a bit of balance. One breath in. And as we exhale, bring your hands towards the ground, half Hanuman, half splits. Begin to straighten out the left and right leg this time. Pull that right hip into its socket as we draw the toes towards the face. Keep focusing on bringing your body weight forward. Breathe into your thigh and hamstring. Gently now, let's come forward back into our lunge, lift up the back knee and then step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale is halfway lift, hands on shins. Exhale, fold. High mountain pose is your inhalation, come all the way up. And as you exhale, hands at the heart center, soft into your breath. Let's keep moving now. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, come up halfway lift. Exhale, step your left leg back now, find your lunge. Now we're going to move into our first really strong standing posture now. So let's squeeze the inner thighs together, plant some weight into that right foot. And as you inhale, come to rise, high crescent lunge. The first question you need to ask yourself is, is how am I engaging into my thighs? If I'm wobbling from side to side, it is my legs that is my base. So squeeze the inner thighs together and then focus on lifting up from your floating ropes as we find length through the chest. Keep squaring off your hips, take a breath in. And as we exhale, bring the hands towards the ground, find your lunge once again. Step back, high plank, and we're gonna move through our vinyasa now. So drop your knees down first, tuck the elbows, come all the way down. Inhale, the head and chest lifts for your upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips go up and back, downward facing. Left leg rises now, three leg. Bring your knee to the nose around the spine, body weight forward. Take it back, three leg it down. Step in between your hands, find your lunge, have a look at it, make sure all your checks are there. When you are ready, come all the way up, high crescent leg. Gentle squaring off of your hips, engage into your inner thighs. Steady your balance as you steady your gaze. Take your breath. Exhale, hands come down, find your lunge. Let's step forward now towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. High mountain pose is your inhalation. Come all the way to rise. Exhale, summer steady here, hands towards the heart center, and let's close the eyes one more time. As we slowly begin to feel the body change, as we slowly begin to feel the mindset change, bring yourself back to your intention, my friends. The intention that made you click on this video, the intention that brought you to your mat this morning or this evening or this afternoon, wherever you are. As we soften ourselves, we truly embody those feelings as we move slowly and consciously. When you are ready, my friends, let's begin to find some more movement. Now blink the eyes open, and as we inhale, now check pose, bend the knees, touch the ground first. Hands towards the sky as we place them next to your ears, but don't squeeze your neck and ears, bring the shoulders down and away. Tuck the tailbone in, and let's find this posterior tilt into our pelvis. So keep on thinking of a Michael Jackson video as he thrusts forward. None of that Beyonce stuff here today. Take an inhalation here. And as we exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step your right leg back. Now find your lunge. Inhale, come to rise. High crescent lunge, find your strength. And as you exhale, gently cactus your arms. Lift your gaze. Inhale, the arms rise. And as we exhale, warrior two, drop the back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Open up your chest. 
when, no matter where you are in your warrior two, always try to bowl from the ground up. So my back foot is parallel to the back of the mat, front foot in the instep of the back foot. Gentle tucking of your tailbone, but don't push it too hard. Just to feel your inner groin and hip area. Maintain the bend in your front knee. On your next inhalation, reverse your one. And hold it here as we once again begin to bend into the knee and really open up into that intercostal space. Take one breath here. And as you exhale, cartwheel your hands all the way down, find your lunge. Let's step back to our high plank and now gently through our vinyasa. Drop the knees down first, tuck the elbows. Inhale, the head and chest lifts for your upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips go up and back, down and facing down. Steady with your breath, my friends. Steady with your mind. Right leg rises, three legs. Bring your knee to the right tricep for body weight front. Take it back, three legged down. Gently step in between your hands, find your lunge. High crescent lunge brings me up. And as we exhale, practice the arms, lift your gaze. Inhale, the arms rise. Exhale, warrior two, drop the back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Open up your chest, gaze over the right hand. And if you feel like your knee is just swiveling towards the inside, search for that subtle external rotation of that front thigh and just see what that does for your stretch. Gently now maintain the butt bend in the front knee. In your next inhalation, reverse your one. Hold it there as we breathe into that intercostal space, nice and slow but strong and focused. Take a breath. And as we exhale, cartwheel the hands down, find your lunge. Step forward towards the top of the mat. Inhale is halfway lift. Exhale, forward lift. Chair pose is your inhalation. And as you exhale, straighten your legs, bring your hands towards the heart center. Soften your gaze, soften your breath. We keep moving, my friends. Inhale is chair pose. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left leg back now, find your lunge. Inhale, come to rise, high crescent. This time, guys, exhale, vertical twist towards the right hand side. We're going to hold it here and really going to focus once again on squeezing these inner thighs together. As we work on our twists ever so slightly, bringing those left limbs around. Inhale, come back to center, high crescent. Exhale, a warrior two, drop the back foot parallel to the back of the mat. As we inhale, reverse the one. And as we exhale, extended side angle pose. So my right hand is coming onto my right flag, and the left hand is coming up and around. You find the variation that works for you, my friends. The level of practitioners are going to be from all the way from beginners to very advanced. There might be even a few teachers watching this. You find what works for you today. But the most important aspect of this posture for me is the bending of the front knee and that subtle rotation of the bottom right ribs up as we align the ilium hip bone with the side body, searching for that beautiful straight line from the tip of our head or finger to the back baby toe. No matter where you are, release your bind and as you inhale, reverse your warrior. Let's come all the way up. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands down, find your lunge, step back, high plank, and let's move through our vinyasa. Drop the knees down first, tuck the elbows. Inhale, the head and chest lift. Exhale, hips go up and back, find your down. Keep flowing with me. Left leg rises now, three legs. Take your knee to the left tricep, body weight forward. Take it back, three legged down. Step in between your hands, find your lunge. High crescent is your inhalation. A vertical twist towards the left, if that is your X. And we're going to hold it here. Gentle squeezing of the inner thighs. Find your stability. Engage with your strength. The inhale brings me back up. And as we exhale, the warrior two, drop the back foot parallel. Very nice. The inhale now, reverse your one. And as we exhale, extended side angle pose. Left hand now on top of the left thigh. Right hand comes up to the to ensure that we are maintaining balance, my friends, please do ensure that you are doing the same thing on both sides. So whether you went for your half bind or full bind, hand on the ground, whatever the case is, just make sure we are doing the same thing. When 
you are ready everyone together now inhale reverse your one and as you exhale cartwheel your hands down find your lunge step forward now towards the top of the mat as we inhale come up halfway exhale fold chair pose is the inhalation and as we exhale hands at the heart center give ourselves an opportunity to breathe give ourselves an opportunity to slow everything down we have one more flow my friends we're just going to add one more posture to keep it nice and simple a little bit of a twist just to keep us going so as we inhale once again chair pose exhale fold Inhale, half will. Exhale, step your left leg back. Find your lunge. Inhale, come to rise. High press. Exhale, hands towards the heart center. This is where we find our twist now. Take a breath here. And as we exhale now, twist towards the right hand side. Take that left elbow outside of the right knee as we find revolved extended side angle pose. Now, for those of you who'd like to move into the full posture, you may open up your arms. You may extend the left hand forward or the right hand forward, excuse me. But for those of you who just like to stay with your hands at the heart center, that's perfectly fine. Everyone together now. Inhale, come all the way up. High crescent, find your strength. Exhale, warrior two, drop the back foot parallel. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle pull. Very nice. Let's stay here for two breaths. Everyone loves a good hip opener. Release your bind when you are ready. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Find your lunge. We step back to our high plank and gently through our vinyasa we go. Drop the knees down first. Tuck the elbows. Inhale, the head and chest loop. Exhale, hips go up and back. Down, you face and down. This is the last time on the last side, my friends. Let's push it one time. Left leg right. Step in between your hands, find your lunge. High crescent brings me up. Hands towards the heart center. Let's prepare. Take a breath. And as we exhale, twist now towards the left hand side. We take that right elbow outside of the left knee and you find the same variation that you did on the other side. Steady with your breath, steady with your gaze. When you are ready, high crescent lunge, come up. Warrior two, release. Inhale, reverse. And as you exhale, extended side angle pose. Find your variation, my friends. Whether you want to up level or down level, just focus on that beautiful sensation into your hips. Everyone together now, inhale, reverse. And as you exhale, cartwheel your hands down, find your lunge. We're going to step back this time, my friends, to a high plank and lower all the way down onto the bed. Find Sphinx pose. So bring your elbows underneath your shoulders as you extend the hands forward. Now, usually in this posture, we get this tendency in classes to figure out that, wait, this is my time to relax. The question that we should be asking ourselves is, is how can we identify more activation within our spines. So let's keep it simple. We start at the beginning. Activate the tops of the feet. Let's lift up the kneecaps. Option number two. I want you to now look at your hands and gently squeeze them towards each other as you create this real square shape between your hands and shoulders. Once you've got the sensation going, as we inhale, lift up your chest, draw the scapula together. And as you exhale, begin to pull the hands now towards your spine as if you're trying to move a box towards your chest. And as we do this, I want you to feel that opening into the low spine. Hold it here. And for those of you who would like to take it further, you may extend your arms for seal pose. Maintain the activation. You may lift up your chin to open up into the throat if you'd like. For those of us who just like to gaze forward, this is all up to you. Take one breath in. And as we exhale, gently lower all the way down. As we find crocodile pose, bring the forearms in front of the forehead, placing your head on top of those arms. Heels come to face each other. 
toes are pointing to opposite sides of the room. You may open up the feet nice and wide if you like. And let's just use this as an opportunity to slow things down just a little. Slowly coming back to that most beautiful breath that we discovered at the beginning of class. Slowly beginning to truly embody our intentions. Gently now. Let's come onto our hands and knees, tabletop pose. Now from this tabletop pose, we can start this posture from here, but we can go somewhere else. I want you to open up your knees a little bit wider than your mat. So your knees might come onto the ground, um, might be a little bit sore, but let's just see if we can hold this for a little bit. From here, I want you to take your feet as wide as your knees as well, and then open up as you take the toes to opposite sides of the room, heels to face each other. Come down to your forearms as we find frog pose. Now, I like frog pose. Why do I like it? Because it feels so good. So I want you to feel this focus on taking your hips towards your heels. So instead of my body weight moving forward, I'm going to take it back. If you're looking for more sensation, open up your knees a little bit wider or lower all the way down into your belly. I'm sure there's a couple of ballerinas watching this so you guys can find your sensation. And hold it here. Always ensure that we are not moving past our edge. Always stay within the realm of your practice. Even though we are not there physically with you as teachers, our intention is always for you to be safe. So maintain your breath and ensure that we are being safe at all times. Let's hold it here for another three breaths. Take yourself deeper into your meditation. Identify this most beautiful of your openings. the hands back underneath the shoulders and become meet back in tabletop pose and you can wiggle your bum around and maybe just see how this feels maybe you want to stretch out one leg and then the other just maybe beginning to just feel how the hips feel from that posture and when you are ready guys we meet back in downward facing down and bend the knees gaze forward when you are ready step a hop top of the mat inhale is halfway lift Exhale, fold. I want you to walk your feet now as wide as the mat. Bind your big toe with your thumb and index. And as we inhale, come up halfway loop. And as we exhale, bend at the elbows as we fold down. Now for those of you who have tight hamstrings, you're welcome to bend the knees. You're welcome to widen your stance if you'd like. But for those of us who are feeling very flexible today, let's really begin to bend at the elbows, engage into your thigh, suck the belly in ever so slightly, create a bit of space within your pelvic region as you fold down. Gravity is your friend, so don't fight it. Just let it go. the bind of your toes and let's heel toe the feet all the way back together on your next inhalation tuck the chin grip of the spine slowly come to standing and then just give yourself a lovely shoulder loop once you arrive you can take your time there's no rush when doing these slower classes we don't want to increase the anxiety too much so what we want to do for this little time is we want to find a sense of stability and balance Vrikshasana tree pose. We start on the right hand side. Hands at the heart center, we keep it nice and simple. Bring the right knee into the chest. From here, you find your tree pose. I'm going to take the knee out towards the right hand side and I'm either going to place that foot inside of the top of my thigh or on the inside of my calf. I'd like that foot to be nowhere near your knee and then begin to squeeze everything together. As we stand firm, Digging our roots deep into the ground. 
searching for our suffering, our stability, our quiet. time where the ego kicks in and we want to correct what we've done before, we want to change what we did in the previous posture. But just like in life, instead of trying to correct something, find balance. The good cannot live without the bad. Together, on the other side, hands towards the heart center, prepare left knee into the chest. Take that knee out now towards the left hand side. You find your variation of tree pose. Once again, quieting everything down. As you really begin to soften and breathe. Utilizing this moment to really dig deep. As we allow our roots to sink into the ground. Softening from root to the tip of our head. Identifying balance, softness, and stability. Gently now, bring your knee back to center and let's plant everything down. Very nice, guys. Let's slow it all down. Let's take it to the ground. Palms at your sides, facing forward. On your next inhalation, lift up your chest. And as you exhale, release as you forward fold. Inhale is halfway lift. And as you exhale, step back to your high plank for our final vinyasa for today. Knees down first, tuck the elbows. Inhale the head and chest lifts. Exhale, hips go up and back. Find your dog. This is our final dog for today. So pedal out your feet and just notice how different you feel. Notice how different this dog feels. And when you are ready, Come meet me in a nice comfortable seated position at the top of your mat and extend your legs forward. Nice simple closing of sequence here today. So let's really find a little bit of an activation into the tips of our toes. So point the toes towards the ceiling and kick through your hips. I want you to feel that activation into the thighs as the kneecaps drop down towards the ground. As we inhale, the arms rise up the belly in. And as we exhale, Paschimottanasana forward forward. Come down. Now some of us aren't that flexible guys, so bend your knees if you need to, grab onto anything that's accessible, shin, ankle, calf. For those of you who are using a strap or a towel, you're more than welcome. You find what forward fold works for you. Now this posture is taught in many different ways, but I like to ask yourself two simple questions. Where am I tight? Where am I still? If my lower spine is feeling a bit tight, maybe you want to draw your heart center a little bit forward as you take your shoulders down towards the spine and search for a bit of a straighter back. For those of us who are feeling a bit tight in the upper back and the upper parts of your neck, maybe tuck your chin as you round into the spine, activating the entire superficial back line. These stretches are always up for suggestion, my friends. It is how you feel and what works for you on the day. Gently inhale, come up. Let's find a bit of a twist. Let's bring the right knee into the chest and take that right foot up and over the left leg. Take your right hand down towards the back of the room. And as you inhale, the left hand right. Find your twist now as you take that elbow outside of the right knee. Use your inhalations to find length. And as you exhale, take yourself deeper into your twist as we find Marichyasana C, way of light. Activate into that left foot. As we just focus you on lifting up from the upper and middle backs. Focusing on taking the chest around. One breath here. Exhale, release now as we count a twist towards the left hand side. Come back to center. And we do that on the other side. Now extend the right leg forward. Left knee into the chest. Take it up and over. 
left hand towards the back of the room as you inhale the right hand rises. Find your twist when you are ready. Activate now into that right foot. Utilize your breath to find length into the spine. And as you exhale, just take yourself deeper into your twist. Why do we twist, my friends? I always like to use the analogy of if you've got a wet rag after you've maybe wiped the floor or something, when you rinse that rag out, you really begin to see all that kind of dirt and grime fall out through the water. This is what we are doing here. We're trying to squeeze out through the spine as we release negative energy, as we release a few toxins, as we maybe just change our point of view. Moving ourselves into a better life. Take one breath here. Exhale, now release, counter twist towards the right. Slowly come back to center. And let's extend both legs forward. Point through your toes and just feel that activation now into the frontal fascia line. We're going to work into the frontal line now. So take your hands towards the back of the room, fingers are pointing forward. And as we inhale now, gently lift up your chest as you squeeze the scapula together. Now you've got an option to keep your hips on the ground or like Stu, he's lifted everything up here for reverse plank pose. So no matter where you are, whether you've lifted everything up or you've got your bum on the ground, I want you to focus on squeezing the scapula together as you lift up through your chest, keep pointing through your toes. Take a breath here. And as we exhale, gently lower all the way down. In your own time now, my friends, let's all begin to meet now, flat on our backs. Let's take our time. As this is a very simple and slow flow, we will not be working too much into the core today, but more focusing on trying to release energy. Let's find a bit of a supine twist here. Right knee into the chest, wind removing pose. Gently squeeze that knee now towards your right armpit. You can just activate into any type of energy that you might be holding on to in the hip flexors. Take one breath here. And as you exhale, supine twist, take that knee over towards the left hand side, take your gaze towards the right. Let's focus today on having both shoulders on the ground. Activate into your left foot and just see how that feels. And gently come back to center. And we do that on the other side. Extend that leg forward, left knee into the chest. Squeeze that knee towards your armpit now. We release any energy that you might be holding on to. Take a breath in. Supine twist when you are ready. Take your gaze towards the left. Knee moves towards the right. Both shoulders on the ground. Slowing everything down. gently come back to center and happy baby is our next posture so I'm going to grab the outside blades of my feet hands are in the inside of my knees and I want to keep the arms nice and straight gently begin to pull down at your feet now as you bring the knees towards the armpits and any movement can feel good for us here if you want to rock from side to side for those of us who are flexible enough you're more than welcome to find a straddle I sometimes like to teach happy baby in the purest of forms, which is just a happy baby. Find any movement that feels good for you. Happy babies are sometimes moving around a lot and they've got an extension of the one leg and they release the one foot. Happy babies are free. Happy babies are joyous. Happy babies are beautiful. Gently now, let's release the bind of our hands and feet, but let's keep all the limbs in the air for legs up the wall. And slowly begin to just shake out the hands and feet here as we begin to drain all the energy back down. Searching for a bit of lightening in the limbs, a tingling sensation in the hands and feet. Gently now, let's find a bit of stillness. Everyone all together now, let's take one deep inhalation, allow the feet and hands to rise. And as we exhale, we lower down as slow as we can into our final resting posture for today, Shavasana. Palms at your sides, heels towards the corners of the mat as we close the eyes. 
Allow your breath to become natural and neutral. Allow your mind to wander. No matter where you are, if there's a baby in the background crying or your husband and wife complaining, allow this to be your time. As we truly begin to embody our intentions, moving down a pathway towards the unity of mind, body and soul, the definition that defines our yoga. Slow down your breath as we drift off and relax. From me to you, Namaste.